Many years ago, I would sit out here in this very same garden thinking about my life. And it was pretty much the same situation that I'm in at this moment, living in the same place, being at home most of the time, not having a romantic partner, not going out and socializing with people, not having stable finances, not having accomplished anything of great significance in my life, and not really having any great ambition. And I was deeply miserable. I hated my life. And now, here I am, sitting in the same place, feeling quite content. And nothing has really changed at all in regard to my circumstances. Not to say that I didn't find myself in other circumstances in the years between, but the circumstances I now find myself in are virtually the same as they were back then. So in that sense, nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is the way I feel. But why is that? You see, back then, I had considered my circumstances to be the reason why I was so unhappy. But I'm not unhappy now, so it must not be the circumstances. What has really changed in all this time is my thoughts in regard to the circumstances. My perspective has changed. And that's it. That's the only thing that's really different. You see, most of us have the idea that our unhappiness is due to our circumstances, but it's actually due to our own way of thinking. A great deal of it has to do with the fact that we resist our circumstances, or we have some idea of how things should be or could be, and we get stuck dwelling in the fact that the situation is not as we desire it to be. Now, of course, we might be able to change the situation, in which case we can simply do that. But sometimes there isn't anything that we can do, at least for the time being. And all that mental resistance certainly doesn't change any of it. All that does is cause us to be miserable. Not the circumstances, but our resistance to the circumstances. The fact that we're unwilling to accept it. You see, what changed for me was that I could see no way out of the situation at the time, and initially I was in resistance to that, and so I felt frustrated and helpless. I was in despair over it. I really felt like there was nothing I could do to change it. And eventually I began to accept that, because what else could I do but accept? And as I began to accept it, I also started asking myself, is there anything at all that I can find in this situation that is good, that is favorable, that is pleasant? And sure enough, there were some positive aspects to it, which I hadn't really given much attention to because I was too busy focusing on everything that seemed to be wrong with the situation, everything that seemed to be missing or broken or flawed. And in giving my attention to these things, to these positive aspects, I started to appreciate them more and more. And the more that I would appreciate these things, the more I felt content. Because after all, it wasn't all bad. I had food to eat, a roof over my head. I had so many things that I had been taking for granted, but now I was coming to appreciate them. And I look at my situation now, and sure, it could be better, but it is what it is, and there is so much to appreciate. I hardly think about what's missing or what could be improved and so on. Or when I do think about that, I ask myself, what can I do? And if there is something that I can do to improve the situation, then I do it. And if I can't do anything, then I just let it go. And I just give my attention to what I can do or what I do have. And sometimes all I have is this garden where I can sit looking at the trees or sitting in the sun, listening to the birds, feeding the squirrels when they come to visit now and then. That's been my entertainment most of the time. Nothing extravagant, nothing exciting. And yet I thoroughly enjoy it because I give it my attention and I appreciate it. So I wonder if you happen to find yourself unhappy at this moment, how much of it might be due to the thoughts that you're holding in your mind? How much of it might be due to what you choose to focus your attention on? How much of it might be due to your unwillingness to accept things as they currently are 
and to see the value in what you already have. And I wonder if you might be willing to shift your perspective. If you find value in this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.